Hey Grim and Perilous fans, this is Daniel Fox. Uh, I am showing you today our mishap and injury cards. A little bit of background on these. Um, this is for our main gash Kickstarter. This will go out to those who backed on our Kickstarter recently uh, or uh, on backer kit. Um, but we'll have these available at drive through RPG Print on Demand uh, shortly thereafter. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the cards first. So one thing I always really liked about older versions of Dungeons and Dragons is that you get a ton of spell cards. What's really nice about these is as a game master, you know, players will generally write down their injury and sometimes they forget it or not, but if you hand them a card, they're not going to forget it. It's going to be right there in their character folio, kind of stuffed inside of it. Um, I like the idea of kind of like having those kind of on hand. So that's where this project started. So as you can see, you know, we've got our modern injury, our serious injuries, and our grievous injuries. And you can see that the, the kind of the progress, like the, the, the person on it gets worse and worse than condition. We kind of took the, uh, a, we kind of took an influence on the old medical text, medieval medical texts, to show like different types of injuries and things like that, weapons jammed into and stuff. All this kind of really cool older wood block prints, and that's what we did here. Ken, Ken Duquet did all these illustrations. Uh, naturally, you're gonna see, you know, the the arrow to the knee. Uh, uh, anecdotally, by the way, uh, when they talk about that in Skyrim, they're not actually talking about taking an arrow to the knee. They're talking about that's an old Norse thing they'd say when they get married to take an arrow to the knee. And you'll notice that our our naturally this guy does have a wedding ring. Um, so it's kind of our kind of tongue in cheek kind of poking fun at the uh, the Skyrim thing. Nonetheless, let's go through them. So here's a few moderate injuries, like you can see on the back. Misfortune, and you can also see the value that's on there too. So essentially what this means is, as a game master, you can have players just randomly choose it. You could, you could shuffle them up and have a player just kind of choose what happens. Ooh, strained groin, that's no fun. Uh, for those who may have played uh, sports in high school or are still playing sports, well, I know what that feels like. Um, then we move on to our serious injuries. And you can see, of course, that the, the, the wounds get far, far worse. And all the injuries that you can suffer, uh, all the serious injuries are indicated all around the different, the, 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 the person on the, on the card here. So we've got, of course, our misfortune 93 to 100 value. We've got our torn shoulder, 86 to 92. We've got our temporary paralysis and so on and so forth. Um, and of course we get to grievous injuries, which are by far the worst. Of course, you can see his hand is mangled, his leg is missing, um, his whole face is bashed in. Um, grievous injuries, as you know, in Zweihander and Mangash are like the worst of the worst injuries you can suffer. So, severed artery, you're completely slain. Um, We've got vitreous hemorrhage, which is clearly what our, you know, you, you, until fully recuperated, you cannot see as you're blind. That's kind of what we show here in the, uh, in the, in the illustration. Um, and then we'll do one more and then we'll move on to mishaps. And then we have splintered elbow. Uh, you know, there's, there's, of course, there's several injuries for each of these, you know, for moderate, serious, and grievous. We'll go ahead and put these away for now. Um, and I'm going to move on to mishaps. And some of you may be asking, well, what do you mean mishap? What does that mean? Well, in, in Main Gauche, uh, for those who are on the early access or have been paying attention to the Kickstarter, you'll know that we actually have vehicle combat in it. And vehicle combat is meant to literally plug and play into our normal combat system, meaning you don't need to run vehicle combat completely separately. So you can carry on like a standard like fight on foot along with vehicle combat, it plugs in very easily and it distinguishes between drivers and passengers. Drivers get kind of special actions they can use uh, as a pilot or driver of a vehicle, um, whereas passengers continue to use our normal gamut of actions in combat. It, it took us quite a while to play test to get it right. We did 14 different versions. Um, but along with that, we knew that, well, players shouldn't just suffer injuries, so should dray horses or the vehicle itself. So we created what are called mishaps. And you can see that you know you have your moderate mishap, which is just kind of like the horse kind of being stressed out and the vehicle kind of getting a wobbly wheel. You have the serious mishap where the vehicle is actually catching on fire from the lamp and the horse is, you know, like about to the end. And then of course the grievous mishap where the whole damn thing is just on fire and the horse is uh, slain. So these are kind of fun too. They follow the exact same principles that injuries do. There are three levels and they're different types. Of course, you can see on the back here, the Speed Demon, <laughs> which is kind of a tongue-in-cheek uh, reference to Main Gash because we have 
demons in them, or daemons, whatever you want to call it. So let's look at a few moderate mishaps. Uh, of course, they have the characteristic border around it. This is the Misfortune one. We've also got Wobbly Wheel. Until fixed, passengers must flip their results to fail all actions in combat that rely on distance beyond engaged. So that's kind of fun. Unstrapped Yoke. Until fixed, passengers must take aim to use any ranged weapon in this vehicle. Hmm. Twisted Reins. Uh, a reference to Twisted Metal, uh, one of our favorite PlayStation 1 games. Until fixed, you must succeed to handle animal tests to use movement actions when driving this vehicle. So you'll notice that each of these mishaps always reference like the vehicle or its passengers. And sometimes it references the Dre animal too, which we'll get to a few I'm sure somewhere in here. Yeah, like here, here we go. Torn ligament. Until one of your Dre animal's horse injuries is treated, you must succeed at a handle animal test or else cannot use movement actions when driving this vehicle. So essentially what it's saying is that your vehicle and the dray horses that pull it can suffer these injuries. Now, what, or rather mishaps. Now one thing you will notice um, in, uh, in, in, in Zweihander, or sorry, Mangalsh, we also include uh, vehicles that could be piloted. Uh, that are powered by Witchstone. In those cases, and the rules kind of just say that if you if you draw something that says you're Dre Horse, obviously you don't have Dre Horses pulling uh, vehicles and main gouge, so you just kind of choose another, another card. But nonetheless, um, we'll go through some of the serious mishaps. So we got Misfortune, which every every layer of mishap and injury has. Snapped Reins. What have we got? Shattered Wheel Hub. We have misaligned wheel until fixed anytime you fail an operate check when driving this vehicle both you and all passengers suffer 2d10 plus 2 physical peril Ugh, nasty uh loose suspension until fixed you cannot use reactions when driving this vehicle when it says fixed there's actually rules for fixing vehicles in main gash uh, as well as y hander uh main gash kind of expands upon that naturally and then finally we have grievous mishaps which are a host of really really bad ones uh like this one fatal crash your vehicle and its dray horses flip over multiple times in a twisted wreck of splintered wood, blood, and bone. Your vehicle is instantly wrecked, which is a condition. It's at the very bottom of the uh, vehicle condition track, because there is a vehicle condition track, just like there is a damage condition track. And the driver's passenger dray horses are all slain. That's pretty pretty bad one to draw. Um, twisted chassis. The vehicle, uh, when a vehicle is in a collision with other, or, or sideswipes another vehicle, it suffers the same damage it inflicts upon the other vehicle. So that's pretty bad too. Torn cargo straps. Until fixed, all cargo stored inside or out is left in this vehicle's wake as it travels. So all, all around the grievous mishaps are just terribly nasty. And once again, you can randomly, this is the die that the D100 percentile it, it references within the book. But once again, I think as a game master, I would recommend actually just kind of having a player randomly draw one of these, depending on what level of uh, mishap they're at, whether it's moderate, serious, or grievous. Shout out Thorough Brace, another bad one. So that that is our mishap cards. Um, and I believe there are over uh, 72 cards total for injuries and mishaps together. It's a pretty serious stack. Um, we're gonna have these on drive through RPG soon. And they'll come in this nice little kind of plastic package kind of bound together with a, with a leader card, I think is what they call that. Um, but there's 72 cards in each of these kind of packets. They're really good cards too I should note. You probably, I don't know if you could tell here in the video, but they are tarot card size. We don't use normal playing card size because they're really hard to read. Um, we tried this with normal playing cards earlier with our arcane and divine magic cards and it just didn't look right. So we wanted to give the, you know, we want to give the, the tarot cards a lot of breathing room, uh, particularly as a game master or player. If you put these in plastic sheets, maybe you even want to like write on them temporarily with a with a, with a dry erase marker. I think there are tarot card uh, plastic uh, sleeves you can buy for these too. So we, we left a lot of breathing room because we know that sometimes game masters want to write stuff on it or you know whatever it may be. Well, once again, we, we wanted to have a lot of breathing room for players. We didn't want to be like cramped as you see a lot of other cards for other systems be. We don't have to like have to get all the way close to read everything up there. So nonetheless, uh, these are our mishap and injury cards. Uh, these will go out to our backers for Mangash, I believe in later part of December or January, 
once we ship Main Gash, and then we will bring it up for sale on Drive Through RPG following that. Um, thank you all for tuning in. Uh, our next video, we will probably show some other new products we're working on, including the Game Master's Notebook and a few surprises for 2019. So until then, this is Daniel Fox, and happy gaming.